Is it alive? This is one of best short bedtime stories for kids. Oh, look at those pretty flowers! Kara exclaimed. She was walking through the park with her best friend, Melissa. I think I'll pick one for my mom. No, don't pluck the flower, Melissa said. The flower is alive. Why can't I pick it? Kara asked. Because the flower is still growing, Melissa explained. If you pick it, it'll die. Kara didn't want the flower to die, so she left it alone. How did you know the flower was alive? Kara asked Melissa. We learned about living and non-living things in school, Melissa said. My teacher said flowers are living because they grow. Now I know something is living if it grows, Kara said. That's one of many ways to figure out if something is living, Melissa replied. There are other ways to figure out if something is living, Kara asked. That's right, Melissa replied. Another way to tell if something is living is to see if it breathes. Wait a second, Kara said. You said flower are living but they don't breathe. Sure they do, Melissa said. They don't have noses but they have their own way of breathing. Well, I can't tell that it breathes, Kara said. There are other ways you can tell if something is living, too, Melissa explained. Something is living if it moves. That doesn't help. Kara exclaimed. I have never seen a flower move. It doesn't dance or walk, either. Are you sure about that? Melissa asked. Yes, I'm positive, Kara replied. Flowers don't move. Do you see those flowers leaning towards the sun? Melissa asked. They had to move to get that way. Wow, I didn't know flowers moved, Kara exclaimed. A lot of living things move, Melissa explained. Sometimes you can't see it. There are more ways to tell if something is alive. Living things change with the environment. This flower closes up tea night. Trees lose their leaves in winter, Kara said. That's right, Melissa said. You can also tell something is alive if it reproduces or has babies, and if it needs food and water. Well, if I think with of all of those things, it won't be hard to tell what is alive and what is not, Kara said. How about if I give you a little test, Melissa said. Look at this rock. Is it alive? Well, I doesn't grow, breathe, move or reproduce, or need food or water. No, it's not alive, Kara decided. That's right, Melissa replied. I think I've got it now, Kara said. This tree, the grass, that dog, and the fish in the pond are alive. The dirt. The swings, that bench and the clouds are not alive. Great job, Melissa said. You definitely have got it. Here is a short visual depiction of one of the best short bedtime stories Is It Alive? See the story video below. Best short bedtime stories video.